God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, if you are here today, you are here for part two of my new series, well, reimagined, revamped series, Overwhelmed with the Weight. If you listened to the last episode from yesterday, it was part one, and it was called All These Things, and it's based off of Matthew chapter six, verse 33. If you have not, before you get into this one, stop this one and go and hit the link in my description and go check that one out so that everything can kind of come together for you, right? So just giving a little bit of background, I know that when I talk to you guys, I'm always asking, you know, I might do on my community page, excuse me, I might do it on my community page and say, hey, how are you feeling? What do you have going on? What you feel is your biggest problem? I'm always asking these types of questions. But I ask because I try to see if there's a common denominator there in a way that I can serve or help you guys. And I started this back in 2015, which is the first time I released this series, revamped it in 2017. And the Holy Spirit told me, hey, 2022, people need it now more than ever. Because I don't know about you, but a lot of people who are even normally patient, their patience is shot right now. People are really struggling with waiting, right? So what I am what I am attempting to do with the revamp of this series is to give you guys an opportunity to first off be honest about the fact that you feel impatient. You may even be angry at God. You might even be mad. You feel like he's not listening. It's a safe space for that, okay? It is a safe space for that. And I want you to be able to genuinely feel that and not feel bad about it because it is what it is, right? So I also want to lend to you though, once you go through that process of feeling those feelings and emotions, I want you to then think about what the weight is actually all, uh, all about and why you feel so overwhelmed. So let's jump in for today. Today, we're actually talking about my favorite scripture. Tip two for today is the desires of your heart. And that is based on Psalm 37, four, seek your happiness in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So this is my favorite scripture for many reasons, but if you have been following me on my podcast, y'all, I've been on that mug. This will be the fourth season. Oh, y'all, the fourth season of the podcast drops in, in April of 2022. So I'll be sharing that later on down the line in another video. But I actually did a whole thing on the breakdown of what Psalm 37 was for me when I figured out that the way I was interpreting the scripture it was a little bit different. So if you'd like to hear some some more about that too, either hit it in the comments, but I'll try to find a link from the old podcast and you can hear that breakdown. But here's the thing, y'all. That scripture in and of itself is just simple and straight to the point if you read it just the way it's written, right? Literally, it's saying, if you seek your happiness in the Lord, you'll get the desires of your heart, okay? It's pretty simple and straightforward. But here's the thing, it can be so overwhelming, y'all, to go through daily life, right, as we struggle to be happy. How many of y'all go through that? Like, you're trying to figure out what your happiness is, you're trying to figure out what your joy is, because everybody doesn't know that. And it's, and it's sad that we live in a world now where you feel so much pressure to feel something, or to do something, or act a way, or know this or know that, and that just may not be what your makeup is, especially in this particular time in your life, right? Because y'all, waiting is such a delicate process that we often just don't understand it. Like, my goodness, like, it literally takes tons of patience. It takes times of incredible faith to see it through. Now, here's the thing. I know, I know some of y'all are trying to be quote unquote happy. Believe you me, I have gone down that rabbit hole myself many times. And sometimes, y'all, I even have to kind of tap myself on the shoulder and say, be like, hey, bro, don't do that, girl. Like, you, you're not striving for happiness right now. Like you gotta, you, you know how to do this thing. And so I focus more on joy. Like what gives me joy? Because I do believe happiness is fleeting. I can be happy one minute and then I can be sad the next. But I also realize that I can still feel sad, but I can still have joy in my heart. Like I celebrated my mother on uh, social media last week. She would have been 76 years old. I lost my mother when I was a girl. I was 13 years old. And I celebrated her. Y'all, I still was full of joy. I was a little sad when I was looking at her pictures and looking at all of the lovely things that I found some relics and some mementos from when she was a girl from back in like 1966, right? 
And so I was reading those things and it made me a little sad because I'm like, man, she won't meet my children and she won't see me get married. I'm thinking these things, but y'all, I still had joy in my heart. I still had joy because I felt like, I hope that if she looks down on, you know, down from heaven, she'll be proud of me. She'll, she, she will feel like I may not have been here on earth with her that long, but you know, my job. Okay. Why am I getting emotional? I'm not going to get emotional. I, 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 we're not doing that. But that goes to show you, I wasn't even getting emotional. Yo, y'all, I legit just sucked those tears back up. Like, <clears throat> uh, no more tears. Nope. That's exactly what I just did. I'm like, nope, push them back up, push them back up. We're trying to get, we got, we got to get to the people. We got to tell y'all what's up. Okay. But y'all know what, y'all know what I'm talking about. How many times y'all had to just kind of roll your eyes back and take your fingers and kind of push your little tears out the way so nobody could catch you slipping. Right. And y'all know I don't mind crying. So, but anyway, yeah, but it's the joy I was feeling. And the reason why I wanted to kind of break down happiness and joy is because, you know, you, you feel like the waiting is augmenting your process, meaning that some of you have been waiting so long for God to do something. You feel like the process is almost handpicked to annoy you. How many people feel like that? Tell me in the comments. Do you feel like it's like you're literally being picked at, right? You feeling picked at. Like, my God, like, what is going on? And, you know, when you know about an augmentation, we usually hear about people doing an augmentation to their body. But imagine feeling like, your process is being augmented, right? Like you, you might know the regular way to get to what your promises. Let's just say your regular way, the regular way to the promise that you have is the same, pretty much straight and narrow, but for you, it's a problem. Like, let's say for instance, your thing is God is promising you that you're going to get a scholarship to go to a school, right? Everybody else fill out the application. They send it off and then they find out. Well, maybe in your case, you're like, man, I'm so excited to apply. I just have to fill out the application and boom. But then you find out from your counselor, you got to send a video. You got to send a PDF. You got to do a FaceTime. You got to do a Zoom. You got to do a text. And now you're aggravated. You're like, why is my process augmented? And usually when we augment, we, you know, for, for the human body, people augment because they want their bodies to look better or they want to take off access. But augmentation and the process of waiting does not feel the same. It actually feels terrible. It feels like once, you know, I, it almost feels like because this situation feels so heavy and my process is kind of jilted, I feel like it's putting me at a disadvantage. I feel like I got to wait even longer for something that takes everybody else five or 10 minutes to do or five or six weeks. Why it's taking me five years? Who am I talking to? I know I'm talking to somebody right now because we all go through that, right? Now check this out. Here's the thing. It seems like even though you're trying to be content and quote unquote do right, you're just not satisfied and happy, right? Let me help you out though. That's your girl here for. Let me help you out. The only place you should be looking for happiness is in the Lord. Let me say that again. The only place you should be looking for happiness is in the Lord. That's why I just broke down to y'all. And my and while I'm living my life, I don't focus on other people and things making me happy. Y'all heard how clear I was about that? I focus on the joy that I maintain in my heart. But baby, my happiness? Ooh, my happiness is in the Lord, baby. Let me tell you, everybody ain't got to like me. Everybody ain't got to understand me. People can think and say whatever they want about me. And guess what? You too. All of those same things I just said about myself apply to you. But you want to know the only thing that matter is your creator. The only, the only being you should be concerned with seeking happiness in is the Lord. And you want to know why? Because when you start to put that type of pressure on people, you begin to idolize them. And as soon as that person does not make you happy from the thing you planned for them to do in your head and they couldn't read your mind and you mad, now you done clicked out and completely trying to destroy them and kill them off because what your, your, your idolization of them is gone because they did not make you happy. Y'all, do you understand this could be a part of the delay? For some of you, it wasn't what happened yesterday. It's not going to be the next three episodes after this one. It's the one for today. Some of y'all struggling in your weight because your happiness is dependent on God giving you the thing you're waiting for. And your happiness should be in him. Whoo, come on. The other things is not your problem. 
all these things, you're not even tripping. The person, the person I'm talking to, you're not even tripping about uh, all these things. You, you get it. You seek him first. You got it. But your happiness and your joy is like, oh no, Robin, this is not me because I get up every day and I pray and I worship and I help people and I feed the children, I feed the homeless. And okay, yeah, but that still doesn't matter if when you go home at night, you buku mad. You mad at the world, punching the air when nobody can see you because you're like, why you ain't bring my husband? Because then it's going to look like to God, you only doing this to get a man? Lord, I want I want another raise. I want, oh, you just want it for dough? You just want it for money? Right? So you have to really be honest with yourself in this space right here because that is going to determine what your pain point is, y'all. We got to get to your pain point. There's a pain place within that's triggering you really not adapting to the waiting process. This is something I can tell you, y'all, I'm an expert on this. You, you want to know what? I could put a comma at the inspiration specialist and be like, I am very experienced and know what it's like to wait a very long time. Okay, right. <laughs> A lot of y'all hit my comments and be like, oh, I know where you're from. I'm not going to say it. If y'all know where I'm from and it's your first time hearing it, put it in the comments, okay? Anyway, but yeah, I was just being silly, y'all. But yeah, I'm saying like, this is why you could be struggling. You could literally be struggling, struggling for that reason. And what I don't want you to do right up in this, this, this part of the journey, this part of the story, I don't want you to start making real dumb decisions. Because you are so aggravated that it's taking so long. You are so aggravated that you are not, God is not doing it the way you think it should be done. I don't want you to do that. Because what happens, what happens when you don't focus on seeking your happiness in the Lord right up in here? Notice how I ain't talking about the desires of your heart yet. Catch that too, because that's not what's important. It's the seeking, seeking your happiness in him. Listen. When you start waiting on happiness to come through another person, another opportunity, an event, even, even, uh, let's just say you're not going to be happy until you lose X amount of pounds. Who am I talking to? I'm not going to be happy until I make this amount of money. I'm not going to be happy unless I build this type of house. No. Cause let me tell you something. Facts, straight facts. I do not have. 90% of the things that I've been having on my list for probably 10 years. I kid you not. I have a unique list. One day, I, I, you know what? I will share it. I'm probably going to share it on my Patreon. My Patreon starts next month. I'll share I'll share my personal stuff on my Patreon for you because I know some of y'all have questions and we can talk and share there. I don't, I don't think I want to put it on this platform. But I'll break down my list. But essentially, my point is this. I have felt the most joy and the most happiness in the Lord in my entire life. Okay, I'm not going to say bliss yet. I ain't quite there at bliss, but I tell you what, baby. Your girl is, 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 is riding high off of understanding the depth of how God loves me and how there is such a value in just genuinely seeking my happiness in the one that knows everything about me and my creator who knows all the answers that I don't know. It just hit different for me. I can't make nobody else do that, but that hit different. And then once I saw how human beings can be so brutal, can, I mean, y'all, let me tell you something. This is such a dangerous thing when you're waiting. It's dangerous because people can ruin relationships. And one of the worst things possible, I can tell you from the past, this happened to me years ago. I was in a situation where I was so impatient you know what I'm saying? With, with God taking care of something and doing something for me, I ended up ruining a great friendship. You know, I think this might have been, this probably was like, mm, I, you know what? Dude, I was in, it was, I was in college. I was, it was a while ago. It was quite a while ago. But in retrospect, when everything came out, I'm like, my God, like I was just on one. Jesus, Robin, like you just wanted it to be this way so badly. You know what I'm saying? So now when that kind of stuff happens and it's being done to me, I'm like, oh, it makes sense. But that's unfortunate because I was going through that when I was young, young, young. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's hard. It's a hard place to be in because a lot of times we're waiting because we're associating. We are associating God's goodness and his 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 greatness and your happiness upon this thing you're waiting for. And that's the opposite. Because hear me out. Your happiness has to be in the Lord, not your mate. 
Not your man, not your old lady, not your kids, not your career, not your community efforts. Yes, not giving back to others. Yes, not your vision, not your purpose. Nope, not I, nope. Even all those deep and wonderful things, that is not what your happiness should be. And I, and I, and I urge you, I know, y'all know, I, I know I be cutting people up on here. I don't mean no harm. I don't. But what I'm realizing is, in this YouTube space, a lot of people are either genuinely on here to help people and other people are on here to get a rise. I'm not trying to get a rise out of you. I'm trying to get you to rise up into what you're supposed to be doing. That's my job. So that means that I'm going to have to tell you those things. And, and how about this, y'all? Let me, th this should, moving forward, you should always know this. Unless I give a disclaimer and I say, I'm just passing on a message, um, you know, and, and I, I don't, I say, well, this has happened to somebody else. Everything I talk about, I experienced. So I'm qualified. <laughs> just, just, just thought you should know that. You know what I'm saying? I'm qualified. Yo, when you grow and when you truly do want to find your happiness in the Lord, you don't mind talking about the mistakes you made. It is, it could be embarrassing and it could, you could feel some shame up in there. And I, I just want to also encourage anybody right now who's listening, who, Feels like you may have caused some breaches. You may have hurt some people. You may have done some things you should not have done. If if you feel like your walk with Christ is is shaky, if you feel like you know you're trying to get with the word, you're trying to figure things out, please get a therapist. Get a healthy therapist. And I will tell you this: just like just like you know how to go pick out your favorite outfit, or you know how to go spend money at your favorite restaurant, make that personal investment in yourself. Make that personal investment in yourself. It's really important for you to do that because you ask the Holy Spirit, just like you ask the Holy Spirit for other things, ask the Holy Spirit to lead you, guide you, and confirm straight from the Holy Spirit. Not everybody else here, you're not my YouTube, not that one YouTube, not, not what your grandma and them say, and not what nobody said at the church and at the store, and, and, and in your friend group, and in your group text. Nope. What is the Holy Spirit telling you? If you know you're crying out for more, more help and you are just really struggling because you're like, man, I'm 50 years old. I still don't have a man. You know, I still don't have my wife. Um, you know, I'm 25. I still, you know, I didn't finish college. All my friends just graduated. You know, I just got, you know, I'm 25 years old. And my, some of my friends got masters. You can be any age listening to me. You can be, you can be 18 right now and say, man, I didn't do too good in high school. You know, and so now I have to go in, you know, I couldn't get into college this first semester. Some, everybody's struggling with so many things. A lot of people are dealing with bereavement. Like they can't get past somebody dying and they don't, they don't know how to say it. They stuck in the weight. They feel like once I'm over this and once I get over feeling like this, I'm going to be happy. And that's not what it is. Listen, if you are feeling overwhelmed with the weight, it's a good chance that you may need to reevaluate y'all. The barometer in which you use to acquire your happiness. Reset yourself. In fact, reset yourself right now. And don't tarry, y'all. Listen, God is in his proper place at this moment, as he is in every moment. Listen, it is admirable to be great and admired in different areas of your life. It truly is. If you're the best mom... You the best dad, you the best cook, you the best friend, you the best lover, you the best spouse. You know, you you the best all of these things, right? You you are you a lover of life. You you love joy, you love happiness, you spread, you're just a big old light beam, just spreading love and peace and happiness everywhere. That is excellent. It is admirable and it is a true representation of the wonderful parts of you. So, let's let me give you your flowers right now because some of you are, are, are not understanding that even though you're still waiting and you're still feeling those great things, you are still feeling a bit inadequate in that space, right? So I just gave you flowers, but this is what I also want you to remember, okay? You will always feel empty relying on happiness and praise from other people. Because guess what? If they ever decide you're not worthy of it, what you're going to do then? What you going to do then? And listen, it doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if it's your parents. It doesn't matter if it's your, your children, your spouse, it, it, your co-workers. If you run a company, you have a business, it doesn't matter if it's your business partners or, or your, your employees. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 
You got to rest in the Lord and you have to focus on him. I need you to seek your happiness in him. And only he, only God will give you the desires of your heart that you're waiting for. That's it. It's only going to come. It's only going to come through the Lord. And if you, if you take the time out and you allow yourself to learn how to truly be happy in the Father while you're waiting on that thing that seems like it's taking forever, I can guarantee you, I could put my life on it. The Lord would never fail. I could also put my life on this. As many times I'm going to mess up. As many times I'm not going to get it. As many times I am going to get it. But what I know I cannot do, I cannot continue like I was doing, putting all the weight on the weight. Woo! Could not keep putting the W-E-I-G-H-T on the W-A-I-T. I want you to sit with that. I want you to sit with that and I want you to think about that. I want you to learn how to be kind to yourself. I want you to sit with this today. I want you to go and give yourself a chance to just hear this out, play it back, share it. Y'all know the drill. I need you to like, share, and subscribe. I need you to turn on your notifications. And I need you to be back here with me tomorrow. Because guess what we're talking about tomorrow? Y'all going to like this one. Day three, good success and prosperity. Tomorrow we going from Joshua 1, 7 and 9. So I need you to be here with me. Make sure you... Hit the link in the description below if you need to catch up on yesterday. Also, turn on the notifications. As you can see, all of these are already queued up for the week. So just put hit the little notification bell so as soon as it pops up. I think they pop up, y'all. I can't remember. if It's either 10 every morning or 11 every morning. I can't tell. But either way, hit the notification. It'll let you know and you can catch it in real time. I'm streaming on here, so we're going to be chatting and talking. So I cannot wait to see you guys. And don't forget... Look at the ebook. You should have the ebook open. I'm just mentioning it at the end of this actual episode, but it's okay. Download the ebook, guys. That is in the description as well. And so thank you guys for, for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow when we're talking about good success and prosperity. And that will be day three of the Overwhelmed with the Weight series. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Oh, God hits. <laughs>